Teamwork and accountability. While accountability is a word that will be used repeatedly throughout your nursing program, you will find that it is often used in the context of being a registered nurse, and so may only appear relevant to you after you have become licensed. This, however, is not the case, and so it is important to understand what accountability means for you now as a student, and then how this changes when you become licensed. As we reflect back to the previous concept brief on values and ethics in nursing, we know that there are a set of ethical principles that are accepted as basic to the profession. These principles are set forth as the ANA Code of Ethics, which defines expectations of conduct. And several other documents define ethical codes for nurses, but their common themes all include accountability. And accountability means being responsible for one's own actions, a sense of duty in performing nursing tasks and activities. Nurses are accountable to themselves, their patients, their employers, the profession, and society. Adherence to standards of care is one way that nurses demonstrate accountability for their actions. Professionalism in nursing includes personal accountability. As students, you have accountability for your own learning and competence. The accountability factor in the practice of nursing is such that a keen sense of responsibility and personal integrity are necessary qualities for every practicing nurse. It's a nurse's ethical obligation to uphold the highest standards of practice and care, to assume full personal and professional responsibility for every action, and to commit to maintaining quality in the skill and knowledge base of the profession. Failure to meet such obligations places the patient-nurse relationship at risk. In order to be accountable, a nurse needs to have the freedom or autonomy and authority to be able to make a professional judgment on which actions to take based on their own knowledge of the possible options and consequences of each. In making that professional judgment, a registered nurse is accountable to a number of people. Invariably, a registered nurse cannot deliver all the care required by patients alone, and in those circumstances, they will need to make a decision on which tasks or activities can be appropriately delegated to others, including nursing assistants, nursing students, and so on. Failure to be accountable for one's own actions damages the healthcare team, causing rifts, blame, and potentially shifting work or responsibilities and patient care between shifts. In other words, lack of accountability can negatively affect quality patient care and team building. In health professions in which the safety and health of society are at stake, the obligation of professionals to police the practice of their colleagues is important. Teamwork contributes directly to accountability in nursing. Daily huddles enhance this by keeping nurses in the loop and reinforce changes to policies and procedures. In hospitals and other healthcare environments where team huddles are less frequent, accountability suffers, according to evidence throughout literature. Nursing accountability can also benefit from teamwork on a smaller scale. Nurses who have attentive supervisors on their teams or partners who check and assess their work typically have more accountability. Girded with truth, nurses must commit themselves to take a bold stance for what is right and against what is wrong. You must be able to be answerable for yourself. What are some specific ways in which you are accountable as a nurse? Well, to start with, taking care of yourself. As a nurse, you must take care of your own health and mental well-being to be an effective health care provider. If you're sick or tired, you won't be an effective caregiver. If you get burned out, you won't be the best employee. Take time off when you need it, including regular vacations. Eat a healthy diet and exercise regularly. Practice stress reduction techniques such as yoga or meditation and pursue outside hobbies and interests. Your patients. Your professional code of ethics requires that you always put your patient's health first. Your primary concern is that your patients receive the best care. You advocate for that quality care and make sure it's delivered appropriately. You protect the health and the privacy of your charges and avoid conflicts that interfere with your patient care delivery. Respect your patients and their rights to dignity and self-determination. Your profession. 
everything you do reflects on your profession. As such, you are accountable to the practice of nursing, knowing that your decisions will either make the profession look good or bad. You accept responsibility to uphold the standards of your nursing association and accept that you represent all nurses when you make decisions and take certain actions. At times, you'll be asked to participate in the development of healthcare policy, employee reviews, or facility regulations as a representative of your profession. Your employer. Like all employees, you need to keep the interests of your employer in the forefront of your mind, allowing that loyalty to be reflected in your behavior and your daily decisions. The quality of your work reflects on the facility or agency for which you work. Their billing is predicted on the work that you do, and your salary is provided under the auspices of your loyalty and honesty on the job. Accountability to your employer also drives your need to maintain safe practices in your daily work. And your peers. Nurses work as part of a healthcare team and as such are accountable to the members of your working group. Whether you provide direct care alongside doctors, therapists, and certified nurse assistants, or serve on a research team, the rights and responsibilities of your peers also serve as important aspects of your decision-making processes. The healthcare needs of your patients, your employer, and society rely on your ability to work in collaboration with others and hold yourself and your team accountable for the good of the whole.